Hey, welcome back. In previous video, we have seen how to create this simulation by adding the viscosity. And now in this video, we are going to see how to convert it into mesh. So first we go back. So when you click on this play here, we are not able to see any simulation because we need to import that simulation into this geometry level because as we have created the simulation inside this top network. So we need to import that simulation into this geometry. So for that, we need to take a node called top import fields node. So we have to select this and here inside this, we need to select this preset. So we have to select this flip fluid. So as we have created the total simulation in, in this DOP network. So if I select this DOP field here, and if you see here, you can see there is an option like DOP network. So we need to drag this node into here. So just we need to left click and drag here. And now what the thing is, we need to import this flip object into this DOP import field. So in order to do that, we need to select this and here there is an option like DOP node. And here we need to browse that. So we need to select this and we need to go to this object geometry. And here we need to go to top network and we need to select this flip object. So just you have to select that and we need to click on this accept. And now we will set this display flag to this top uh, import field. So we need to select this. And now if you click on this, now see we are getting this simulation. And also I will turn off this template so that we can able to see only the simulation here. So just if you click on this. So next, what the thing is we need to pack these particles. Uh, so in order to do that, we need to take a node called fluid compress. So select this and just we need to connect here. And see now we got this all geometry. So if you play now, we got all this geometry. And also if you select this and make sure you have to enable this option like pack particles, it will be enabled by default. And mainly this node is used to compress these particles. So you'll get less size. And now what the thing is we need to con uh, convert this into mesh. So in order to do that, we need to take a node called particle fluid surface. So select this and we need to connect from here. And now if you set this display flag and now see it has been converted into mesh. And if you select here, here you will have this particle separation. So here defaultly we are getting 0 0.1. So as we go inside here, you can see in flip object, we have used this particle simulation to 0 0.02. So what we can do is we can right click and just uh, copy parameter and we can go inside and just we can select this surface. So right click paste relative reference so that whenever we make any changes into this DOP network, it will be applied to this here. And now we got this mesh here and also we can convert this mesh into different variety of types. So if you select this particle surface and if you come down here, you will see there is an option like convert to here. We can select like surface polygons. We can convert it to polygons or else if you want to convert into VDB, we can convert into VDB. So by default, I will select this surface polygon soup. And also now what the thing is, if you want to add more mesh details here, if you select this particle fluid surface and here there is an option like adaptivity. So you can decrease this. So suppose if I put it to 0 0.05 or something, now say it is increasing the details of this mesh here. So if you want, if you don't want to see this mesh here, you can see there is an option like uh, smooth shaded. So we can click on this and see now suppose if I put it to 0 0.01, now say it is adding more details to the mesh here and also if you want to increase more uh, you can put it to 0 0.005 or something we got more detail so if you want to see this mesh you can see this uh, like you can go it to smooth wi fashion so now if you click on this play so here we got this nice mesh flow and now suppose in case if you want to enable this smoothing for this so you can select this particle fluid surface and if you come here there is an option like filtering so if you select this and you can enable this option like smooth and you can increase the smooth here. See now, see it is converting this mesh into smooth. And now we got this very smooth mesh flow. So if you disable this mesh, so smooth shaded, and now the mesh has been converted to more smooth. Uh, so suppose see if you disable this, we are getting this uh, bumpy kind of thing. So if you enable this, we are getting very smooth mesh flow. And see, whenever we click on this play, still the simulation is playing very slow. Suppose if you want to see the smooth flow of this simulation, then we need to create a file catch. Uh, so in order to do that, we need to select this node and we need to take a node called file catch. So select this and connect here. And if you enable this, so first what the thing is, we need to catch this uh, simulation here so that we can play very smoothly. So in order to do that, uh, so here there is an option like save to disk here. So we need to click on this save to disk and now it will start creating the file catch. 
and now it has done and it takes time depends on your system configuration and now if you select this file catch and if you click on this play we'll get the smooth simulation without any delay and also if you want to see this torus model we need to take a match node so just we'll take a match node and we have to search for this torus so we need to connect this file cache and also we need to connect this torus here and just we'll enable this and now we can able to see this torus so if you click on this play now we got this nice simulation and in this way we can convert the fluids into mesh and in the next video we will see how to add the materials and also how to render it so see you in the next video